Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and welcome to your fourth video tutorial on Skeleton. Um, so today I want to talk about the buttons in Skeleton. Essentially it comes in two different types. We have the standard button and the primary button. And we're also going to discuss how to actually make your own custom button um, such as a success green colored button. Okay, so um, it's quite simple but it's definitely good to know. So um, in Skeleton, buttons can be applied to anchor tags, button tags or input tags. And by default, the button and the input type of submit and input type of button are going to have their own um, styles applied to them automatically. Whereas the anchor tag requires the class of button. So let's go ahead here in this HTML file and recreate some of the examples inside the documentation. Okay, so um, inside here we have a simple six column um, section and we're going to start by doing the most basic button and that is the HTML element for the button okay I can put for example click me inside here I can save this and refresh my browser and we get this right here automatic button styles applied when the page loads up okay if I was to apply this to the anchor tag um, for example can say a href as the hash and we can say decode on YouTube if I save this and refresh we can see it's still some text so to convert it into a button we have to explicitly say that it has a class of button all right so I can now save this and refresh and we get this right here I'll also demonstrate um, real quickly the input um, with a type of button and this will just say here um, submit for example and we get the same result all right so um, all this stuff here is automatic whereas the anchor you need the class of button and this also works for the input type of submit there we are all right so for the primary button um, you can you, you can apply this style by simply adding the button dash primary class to one of these elements, for example, we can say button class of button dash primary. If I save this and refresh, we get the nice blue color. Okay, so that is the basics of buttons in Skeleton. Let's see how to make our own button, um, such as a success green button. All right, so over here on colorpicker.com, I've picked um, just a random green, green shade. We're going to use this color right here, as well as a darker green for the, um, for the hover and active states. Okay, so I'm um, back inside the HTML. Let's reference the skeleton um, CSS file to see how it actually handles um, the primary button class. So we can see here we have quite a few um, different selectors for um, the uh, primary style. So I can just go ahead here and uh, copy and paste all of this stuff right here with the button primary um, selector. So we can see here that all this stuff, we're gonna have the color of white a background color of blue and the same border color and the hover and focus state sorry I'm not active but the focus state we can see that it gets the darker blue okay so if I just copy all this right here and paste it inside my own custom styles all right I'll just format this real quick okay so we have this right here we can simply replace all of these with our own custom colors so um, inside um, uh, color picker we're going to pick one of these green colors so this for example okay copy this and paste it inside here we can make that for um, the regular state and we also got to change the primary to a different class such as um, success or different name okay so just copy or just select all of these here and replace these with success all right um, now for the the focus and hover state we can simply just pick the darker green for example this one right here copy it paste it inside the editor and we're now good to go so now I can simply just um, replace for example this submit button um, with a class of button dash success our new custom button class I can save this and refresh and now we get this right here the nice green style all right, so just remember that skeleton is a boilerplate, which means all of these custom cells you need to add on yourself. It's just supposed to be um, 
just like a little template or a um, just a starting point for you to then expand on. So that's why we're going to make our own custom styles for the green success button. All right, and that is buttons in Skeleton. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.